we're in a Cisco ASA version 9. I'm going to show you advanced pinging. Now, if you want to, you could just go ahead and type the regular way of pinging and just hit ping and followed by an IP address, whether inside or outside. But if you want to do advanced pinging, then what you want to do is start by typing in the word ping and just hit enter. And now it's going to go through a series of different things that you can do. So do you want to do a TCP ping instead of using an ICMP ping, which is the default internet control messaging protocol, you do the transport control protocol. Well, we don't need to do that. We just want to do a regular ICMP ping. So we're going to let leave the N for no. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. The interface. Now the interface you can do the either the inside interface or the outside interface, or if you have an ASA with more interfaces than that, you can pick any interface you want. And this is very helpful helpful if you want to troubleshoot an issue. So if you ping from the outside and it works, but uh, things still aren't working right, you may decide you want to ping from the inside interface, even though you're still pinging to the outside world. So that's a good troubleshooting uh, thing to see whether or not you're having a problem with your inside network, but not necessarily your outside. So we have the target IP address. We'll just go ahead and type in the same address we did last time. It could be anything you want. And repeat count. Uh, five is the default. We'll go ahead and say 10. And the datagram size, this is very similar to the ping you would get from Windows. In Windows, it's 32, but in uh, Cisco, the default is 100 is the size. So you can do any size you want up to the datagram uh, maximum, which is uh, theoretically 1,500, but most people don't get past about 1,400. So we'll go ahead and say 500, just to give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit bigger load of uh, ping. All right, now timeout is two seconds. So if there's a ping that takes longer than two seconds, um, we can change that to anything we want. We'll just go ahead and leave it at two. And then there's extended commands. So if we want, we'll go ahead and type yes to see the extended commands. Verbose, which gives us all kinds of additional information. We'll go ahead and type yes for that. Uh, validate reply data. So that way you sort of do a handshake uh, with the other end to make sure that um, it is coming from where it's saying it's coming. Uh, data pattern. Uh, this is something that typically you wouldn't use, so we'll go ahead and skip past that. Sweep range of sizes. So if you wanted to, you could you could do different size datagrams instead of just the the uh, one that we picked earlier. And we hit enter, and you can see that our success rate is zero because we're not connected to the internet, but that's okay. So it went ahead and and did all of these advanced different uh, types of options that you don't normally get if you type ping followed by the IP address like we did in the first option.